please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the future notification to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for your love and support. Hello friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I'll show you drafting, cutting and stitching of slip dress or also called a petticoat or inner for the kurti or churidars. So let's quickly start with this project. Using the white poplin fabric, I took 2 meters lengthwise. Now I'll show you how to take widthwise. Measure the hip round. Hip round is 40 inches. Divide by 4. I'm adding 1 inch for the ease and 1 inch for seam allowance. Half an inch extra I'm taking. This is because the fabric may shrink when we wash as I'm using the cotton fabric. So let's begin with the markings. I folded the fabric into 4 layers. This is now on 2 folds giving the neck width of 3 inches and the shoulder length also 3 inches this depends upon you you can increase or decrease as per your requirement marking half an inch shoulder slope from there i am marking half of the armhole length which is six and a half inches fourth part of the chest length is nine and a half inches adding half an inch ease the length is of 10 inches and marking one inch for the seam allowance for this making of slip dress we don't take much for the seam elements, mark the midpoint of the armhole which is 3 quarter inches. Connect these two points with the curved line. Now from the shoulder line, mark 15 inches. Here, I'll mark the fourth part of the waist round which is 8 and half inches and half an inch is 3 fourth inch for the seam elements. Connect these two points with the parallel lines like this. Now from the shoulder line mark 22 inches here I'll mark fourth part of the hip round which is 10 inches adding half an inch ease so I'll be marking on 10 and half inches and 3 fourth inch for the seam element length of this petticoat would be of 36 inches added 1 inch so total I took 37 inches for the two layers length wise normally comparing to your kurti or churida length we have to take 2 to 3 inches less for this petticoat and the bottom flare I'd be marking on 12 inches and 3 fourth inch for the seam elements connect all the points with the curved line like this now for the kurti neckline I'd mark on 6 inches as this is inner way I'll mark half an inch more depth compared to the neckline that means now I'm marking on six and a half inches. So according to your dress neck length, you have to mark half an inch more depth so that it will not skip on the arms or the neckline. Now I'll be cutting on these marked lines. Done with the drafting and cutting. Now I'll show you how to stitch this petticoat. Place both panels right sides together and join the shoulder lines. This is how it looks. Now I'll conceal arm side and neckline, double fold it like this and start stitching on this fold. This way I'll conceal an arm side, also the same for the neckline. Now I'll give the stitch on this neckline, concealing the raw edges. Do not stretch on the curved turnings, run it friendly. See this is how the concealed arm sign and the neckline would look. Now I'll join the sides. On this marked line till the hip line till this marked point of the hip line I'm done with the joining of the sides now I'll conceal the raw edges of the hem and the side slits just like the normal kurti double fold it like this and start stitching on these folds
reaching at the slit end slowly run the footer to another side of the slit and then start now sewing And that's it friends, I am almost done with this inner or the petticoat for the kurti or churidars. And the final lookout is here. This way we can make the matching petticoats to our dress patterns. If you find difficult to wear the skinny garments. I hope this video is useful to you all. If you like it, please hit the like icon to support my 